Hi, it's nice to talk to you again. I, I've enjoyed the the first three we've seen. I hope we, we get the other three soon. I don't know what happens. Um, so okay. to start off, can you talk about obviously at the end of last season, every like the place blew up and everything. Can they trust me? And like, can you talk about sort of them building that trust back after that? Because everybody's kind of upset that they have no, you know, that they may have no chance to go home again. So yeah. how did they how did they get past that, I guess? Yeah, I think that's something that's really going to carry over, particularly with the story of Levi, because um, he's the one who, you know, blew up that building and destroyed their chance of going home. And that um, tension between him and Gavin is really at the heart of the beginning of the season. And um, um, will they ever be able to um, mend the, the the friendship that they had? So that's something that is really reverberating for those two. The, a lot of the other characters, you know, they were certainly upset by it, but it didn't hit home in the way that it did for anyone besides Gavin. So that's really the angle um, that that story, particular story will be told through um, through this season in their relationship. Can you talk a bit about the community in general? And because there's obviously a lot of altercations, not just between them, but just this season in general, people getting along or not getting along, having to listen to new leadership and all that. So can you talk, sort of talk about how that plays out a bit this season? Yeah, I think, um, you know, definitely, uh, you know, the leadership story is something that will continue for Lucas. You know, he was, uh, you know, elected leader of the clearing, um, but he's, you know, someone who's not really, a, you know, never thought of himself equipped to do that. And he's going to continue to struggle with, you know, am I the right person to lead these people? And also the decisions that you make, um, sometimes they're difficult decisions and they reverberate in ways that you didn't expect. Um, so the challenges of that and also, you know, the 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 everyone in the clearing um, is after their home is destroyed at the beginning of the first episode and they're have to find a new place to live. So um, the conflicts of, you know, arising from that are, you know, and being thrust into an unfamiliar place will continue to reverberate as well. So, you know, I think, you know, it's, this is a group of people that have come to know and to care about each other, but, you know, still they're fighting for their survival. And within that, there are always conflicts that, that would inevitably come up. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, this is the last season, unfortunately, and you only got it six episodes, too, so it's even shorter. Did you, I mean, did you get to wrap it up the way you liked? Was there a lot that had to be cut out? Can you sort of talk about that and how hard it was to sort of fit it all in? Well, there was definitely landmarks and true uh, a true north of where I wanted the show to ultimately end that I've always had. Um, and no matter when the show was going to end, I knew that's certain, there were certain ways that it would wrap up. Um, but the, that's not the case for every character. Some characters, I, you know, thought their journey might continue longer um, or shorter than you know I, than it originally had planned. But knowing that it was the third season, you know, we really had to pivot and um, think about how we can wrap all of this up in a, in a, in a cathartic and emotionally satisfying way. Um, so definitely a challenge, but. You know, once we set it, once we knew what the parameters of the story were, I think we we're able to really craft stories that were that are really satisfying. And you know, this is um, you know a really exciting and surprising and epic season. It's our it's our the best season we've done so far um, in terms of not only the you know the emotional stories, um, but also just the scale of it. It's a huge season. Um, new animals giant visual effects it's the best visual effects that we've done um in any season in part because we've had more post-production time in the season than any other um so really had a chance to refine and work on uh a lot of what we were doing and make it look more like a big budget blockbuster feature film than we've ever been able to do before which um of those visual effects which was like the hardest to complete in the time like what what did you have the most difficulty with on that front you know, definitely the the dinosaurs are, are a challenge uh, because they're so big and because they're moving and they're involved in action. They're not stationary things. And they are also, you know, we also wanted to make them look different than other dinosaurs you might have seen on screen before and have their own unique character. So um, just creating that texture in the movement is they're all really challenging things. 
and also want to make sure that they're telling the, the story properly. So there's just so many different layers that go into the creation of visual effects uh, that just take a lot of time, um, particularly with um, massive creatures like that. What, um, because I was gonna say, like, what part of it was practical though? I, I assume you had to like yank people in the air and, and different things like that. Is that just as difficult or is, is it more just doing the computer part of it? Well, a lot of there's definitely challenges, and you have to, you know, before you shoot a any sequence, you figure out, you know, what is going to be practical versus what is going to be added later. Um, you know, there's always a, uh, you know, there's always a stand, you know, a stand in for what the for what the where the animal will be you know either it's like a someone holding a pole or like a someone dressed up in a in a in a blue or a green suit yeah. so you know where the animal is and so that that the actual actors can react to that and you know if they're hit by a dinosaur they're on a rope or a, a pulley that they're pulled back from where and you later remove that pulley in visual effects um you know all that takes planning and work but doesn't take the same amount of time as the creation of the actual uh, visual effect elements, but you know it's all it's all part of a one long process, which is you know an exciting one, um, uh, and you know really just so amazing to see how something you know that you just type on a you know page in your in, in your computer comes to life um, uh, later down the line. We have less than a minute left. Quickly, what's something you learned about yourself from just from this experience overall? Um, I think it's uh, how to, um, uh, manage, uh, time and, uh, tasks, you know, the job of a show owner involves so much. You've got it not only in charge of the vision, the creative vision of the show, but it's also the managing of, of the budget of personalities, uh, you know, making sure that people are happy, um, dealing with notes that come in from pr other producers or executives and uh, supervising the editing, um, sound mixing. There's just, you know, a hundred different things that are happening in a show and, you know, figuring out how to be able to do them all at once and not get overwhelmed by it is something that, you know, those are a lot of skills that I learned because I never been, a, I've never been a showrunner or a creator of a show prior to doing this, but this, you know, but I, created a show that was one of the biggest ones that's ever been on network television so it's re really threw me into the fire in a big way um but figuring out how to do all that you know it gives you a lot of confidence that you are able to and you get better at the job and learn you know where your time needs to go and how to manage pressure and things like that so it's really the you know understanding you know that i could do this job and everything that it involves um is some of the stuff that i learned well, thank you. I enjoy, like I said, I enjoyed these three episodes and I'm excited to see the rest. <laughs> so thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too. Bye.